Hi, I am Els from Drop Solid. I'm marketing automation expert, um, growth hacker, marketing, uh, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I will take you along on how Drop Solid personalizes her newsletter into four different segments, why we do this, and what the results are of the segmentation. Uh, first of all, we always start with the Holy Trinity. You need content management, customer data platform, and marketing automation. Um, these three components are needed to make sure the personalization is okay. Content management, we do with Drupal. Uh, marketing automation, we do, of course, with Motic. And then you have the customer data platform, we do it, you know me. We need all three of those to make sure that we can personalize the Motic emails. Um, we have four different segments. We have the marketing or business segment, we have the tech segment, we have the applicant segment, and we have the default segment. The default is if you are not in any of the other three segments, uh, which means that you are not put into a segment yet. Um, first, we start with Drupal. Drupal, um, you have the front that people see and you have the back that I'm working on with Layout Builder. Uh, the main difference is I put a red square around it, um, is the blue box. Um, and you can see when you visit our website, you only see one box. But in the back, I put four different boxes. Um, I will zoom into this a little bit. You can see here that there are four different boxes and the um, difference is uh, very subtle. Uh, but you can see Drop Solid Marketing News, Tech News, Job News and just the default version. So you can see the four segments again. This is a very small and very easy example, uh, but we do this on our entire website. So based on which segment that you're in, you will see a different uh, website. Um, so it's possible that you won't see the same website of Drop Solid as the person that's uh, visiting next to you. Then you have You Know Me, uh, and You Know Me, we are building these segments. You can see here again the red squares, business persona, tech persona, applicants persona, and then uh, the red box at the default if you don't have any segment yet. This is very technical. I won't go deeper into how we are doing this. It is important that when you visit our website, we will put you um, into one of these segments based on which pages that you're visiting, which content that you're reading, uh, from which touch point that you're going to the website. If you need more information about this, don't hesitate to contact me. My details are in the last slide. And last but not least, we have Modic. Um, personalization and Modic happens like this. This is a campaign that I built. Um, first, we do just English and Dutch. We have two languages that the newsletter is being sent out. Uh, first, we're going to look if you're in the business or the marketing segment. If yes, then we will send you the business newsletter. Second, um, if you're not business, then we will see if you're in tech. Um, if yes, you will receive the tech newsletter. If not, uh, we will check if you are in the applicant segment. If yes, then you will receive the uh, applicant newsletter. And if you are in none of the above, you will just see the default version. And again, here you have marketing, tech, applicant, and default, the four different segments. What is the difference? Uh, well, you can see three different versions of the newsletter to the right. Uh, you can already see that it's a bit shifted. The content is different. Um, so we differentiate based on subject line. Um, introduction text will be more uh, personalized to your segment. You will receive different content. You can see it in the first purple block that the three blocks are different content. So that's the main article. Um, the order of the articles is also very important. So if you're in the tech segment, the first articles that you read will be more techy. Uh, if you are a business or marketing segment or the applicant, you will see the vacancies first. Um, and then last of not but not least are, of course, the vacancies if you're in the job or the applicant segment. Uh, the first thing we will talk about is our open uh, vacancies or an employer branding piece or something like that. What are the advantages? Well, the newsletter is way more personal and way more relevant to your personal segment. Um, I can say this, uh, but of course, we also have results and analytics about this. So here you can see the... Um, eight different newsletters. We have four segments and we have two languages. So we have eight different newsletters set up. Um, you can see them again with the red square. Um, what is the breakdown? Uh, you can see it divided in Dutch and in English. So the default version is around um, open percentage or red percentage, 30%. The marketing segments is 10% more. So it's around 40%. Then you have tech, which is almost 70%, and then you have the applicants, which is around 60%. So the difference between default and the other segments is uh, gigantic, um, which means that if you are put into one of the different uh, segments instead of default, that you will get more relevant and more personal content, and that the open rate of the email is way bigger or the red percentage is way uh, higher. So it means, means that um, the emails are 
uh, or the newsletter is opened more than when you have just a default version. Um, that was a very quick and very fast. Um, it is that easy. Of course, it's a way more technical that I just presented in the past five minutes. If you need more information, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact me via marketing at um, I also am in close contact with my tech colleagues so if you have questions about how technically to put this up with Drupal uh, you know me and with uh, Modic don't hesitate um, I am here to answer all of your questions